Mitch, come on up. Mitch became an EMT in 1976 and an EMPCC in 1991. He has been a member of the Manhasset Lake Fire Department for over 25 years, where he serves as an EMS trainer. He also volunteers as ALS support services to the Great Neck Vigilant Fire Department. He has been an EMS educator since 1997 and has been teaching both BLS and ALS on a regular basis. Mitch also serves as New York State Regional EMS faculty. Since 1997, Mitch has always embraced his role as an instructor at the Academy. Not only is he well versed, but he is also well respected by his colleagues in the EMS community. His enthusiasm in the classroom is outstanding. Over the years, Mitch has developed enhanced teaching methods for the Academy at both the BLS and the ALS levels. He has developed an expertise for utilizing moulage during EMP skill session. Mitch is praised by his students for his teaching ability. The ratio of students in his classes that pass the New York State exam is consistently higher than that of the state average. Mitch has moved EMS into the 21st century. He has adopted social media as a means of educating the public as well as his students. He has developed an online footprint for the academy by making educational videos depicting New York State BLS skills stations. These videos have been utilized as well as recognized across the state, not only with an increasing number of hits, but also with positive comments from students. Mitch is currently the Academy's online education coordinator. His efforts enable students to take exams after class hours. This enables the Academy to provide more didactic and lab time in programs. The bottom line is that Mitch ensures that all students get quality instruction, regardless of their expertise or certification level. I present to you Mitchell Levine, the EMS Educator of Excellence. Two things. First of all, just about everybody here is an EMT or above, which means you all have phenomenal instructors. I know some of you have been students of mine. It's great to see you guys moving up. I'd like to congratulate everybody that's been a recipient of acknowledgement today. I think that's phenomenal. Glad to be with you, you are my heroes. There's two other people I would like to directly acknowledge today. Two people that have been my boss, or bosses for years. Unfortunately, one of them was not able to come tonight because of illness, so I'd like you all just to keep in your mind my former boss, Chief Robin Dunn, for a speedy recovery. There's one more person I'd like to acknowledge that I believe just about every person in this room has had some direct communication with, either on the phone or on scene. He is my current boss, so therefore he's a pretty smart guy because he hired me back in the 80s. He's allowed me to do what I wish to do as far as development of programs to enhance the EMS training community. He was one of my EMT instructors back in the day. Or as he puts it, back in the day when blood wasn't even red yet, it was still in black and white. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to personally thank my mentor, my boss, Chief Frank Dexter.